I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The recent developments by OpenAI and Figure AI in the domain of humanoid robots, as reported by BBC News, signify a watershed moment in the field of artificial intelligence. When we look at the nuanced interactions between humans and these robots, particularly the ability to recognize objects, perform tasks, and emulate human speech patterns with astonishing realism, we can appreciate the immense strides AI has made. Elon Musk, a torchbearer for technological iovation, has long advocated for the safe and open development of AI. His support for freedom of speech and open discourse complements this vision, as the advent of humanoid robots will inevitably raise ethical and societal questions that require robust debate. The fact that these robots can not only see objects like the red apple on the table, but also taste and feel their environment, heralds a future where AI could potentially enhance human experience beyond our current limitations. There's a certain magic in witnessing these robots perform what seem like simple tasks, giving the apple, predicting where dishes go, and knowing how to interact with the physical world. It reflects our deepest narratives about creating entities that can understand and participate in our world meaningfully. When the reporter notes the vocal fry in the robot's speech, mimicking human irregularity, it is a testament to the sophisticated level of AI programming aimed at breaching the Unkai Valley, making interactions with robots more natural and, in a sense, empathetic. However, there's an undeniable ethical dimension that must be considered. As the AI's voice becomes more colloquial and its processing speed increases, this closeness to human interaction presents the concern that we may start preferring AI company over human companionship. In designing these robots to closely mimic humans, there's a crucial choice being made about the future relationship between humans and machines. Therefore, while the technological marvel so ought be overstated, it is imperative that regulations, transparency, and philosophical inquiries continue to evolve in tandem with the technology. As staunch advocates of freedom of speech like Musk would agree, it is through open discourse that society can navigate the complex implications of AI's progression ensuring that as we forge ahead into this bold new world, we do so with cognizance and conscience. The robots of OpenAI and Figure AI are not just a leap in technological achievement, that they're a prompt for profound societal introspection. I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it, so I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great, so based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. It's 
remarkable, isn't it? Mm. I mean, every um, everything that I've been shown so far in the world of AI, the avatars that I've seen, which are on screen, mm. they're instructed by text. The difference with this is that it's seeing, it's yeah. tasting, it's feeling its environment. And that is what blows my mind. Yeah. I thought it was fascinating that the voice even has, because it's obviously a fake voice, probably taken from real voice samples and maybe even melded together, but it had vocal fry. So I often have vocal fry because I've got asthma and I have to cough a lot. And so you'll, you'll hear it in my voice. It's not a pure tone. It sounds a little bit hoarse. They've even put vocal fry in to make it sound like a real human. That's crazy. I was saying last <laughs> week um, to Priya that one of the things somebody has said to me who's interacted with one of these models is that they feel empathy and that's why they feel empathy because actually the voice is colloquial right. uh, and as you say it feels real there's a mm -hmm. slight pause there's a drag mm -hmm. isn't there as it processes but as that gets quicker yeah. it's going to be the sort of thing that some people would prefer to hang out with yeah and there's an ethical question in the way that we've even designed this robot like it's a choice to try to make it look and sound and, and feel human.